I hear you have a custom domain and you want to host a static website for free. If you're feeling a little bit uncertain on how to do this, fear not and follow me along this video to learn how. When it comes to hosting your site, there's plenty of services to choose from online, but the top three for your static website would probably be GitHub Pages, Netlify and Cloudflare. With that said, in this video, we will be connecting our GitHub website repo to Cloudflare and adding our own custom domain from Namecheap. If you came here only for the custom domain part, then please use the timestamp below and skip to that part. If you want to follow along from the beginning, then stick around. Now just to showcase, here's my website. It is basically a release notes theme from Astro. Let's begin porting this from our local machine to our custom domain. Head over to Cloudflare and create an account if you haven't already. Then head over to the dashboard. Once at your dashboard, you want to hit on workers and pages and then hit create. Click on the pages tab and click connect to Git. Here, you might not be able to see your repository. So you will have to configure repository access for Cloudflare. Once you grant access to Cloudflare for your repository, which can be configured on a per repository basis, you can return here. Previously, I only had the blog repository, but once I gave Cloudflare access, I can now see Astro blog Cloudflare repository as well. From here, you can select your repository and click begin setup. You can choose your branch and framework presets. For me, that will be Astro. Make sure the build command is correct. For Astro, it's the default npm build command and make sure your project's output directory is set correctly here. Click save and deploy. Once deployment is done, click on your project's URL and you should be able to see your website. That is all for the deployment. If you want to use the signed Cloudflare domain, then your job here is done. But if you want to set up a custom domain, then let's jump over to the next section. For this, you can click this button or you can go to workers and pages, select your project and then choose custom domains and click set up a custom domain. From here, you add your domain. And next, you'll have to transfer your DNS management from your domain provider to Cloudflare. This setup will differ depending on what domain providers you're using. Click Begin DNS Transfer. Enter your domain and click Continue. Choose your free plan down here and Cloudflare will try and automatically populate your DNS records. Make sure you review them and click Continue. Next step is to update your name servers in your domain provider. In my case, that is Namecheap. In Namecheap, you can head over to your domain and then to name servers. Choose custom DNS and paste the name servers from Cloudflare. Make sure to save them. This process might take up to 24 hours to complete. And again, that is dependent on your provider. In Cloudflare, you can click this button to do checks if everything is set up correctly. You should receive an email when the update is completed. Once you receive your email, you can activate your domain. Now head over to your domain. In my case, that is some random domain that XYZ and you can enjoy your site. But wait, what if we have some people trying to access our website via the www route? You might notice some issues like this. Well, folks, in order to fix this, we need to redirect the www to our root domain. We head over to our dashboard and click on bulk redirects. Click on bulk redirect lists. Give a name to your list and add description if you'd like. At the URL section, you click on manually add URL redirects. Paste in your source URL, including the subdomain in front. In the target URL, you paste your root domain. You leave the status as 301. For the parameters, you can select what best suits your use case. Then you click next, review and edit if anything is needed. Now you'll be asked to add a rule for your bulk redirects. Choose your redirect list, give the rule a name and click save and deploy. Next, you need to head over to your project DNS manager. See at the top here, I'm at my project some random domain.xyz. Next step is adding an A record with the name of www and a placeholder IP. Make sure the proxy status is enabled here and click save. Wait a few minutes and type your URL with www included. And voila, there you go. You have now successfully deployed your website to Cloudflare pages with your custom domain. That is all for this one, folks. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.